And as promised, the good news, your Android phone will run Debian Linux soon, and some pixels already can. Now, really cool story, so listen up here. So, Google introduced a native Linux terminal application in the March 2025 Pixel feature drop, which allows users to run Debian Linux on their Android devices. This is currently available on all the latest Pixel devices running Android 15, and it's expected to expand to all sufficiently robust Android phones with the release of Android 16. Now you might be wondering what this is, and let's dive into that. So this will run Debian Linux on Android devices, and it accesses a shell interface directly on the device, which can download, configure, and run Debian. Now, it does lack support for GUI applications, so this isn't like running a whole VM on your phone, but you can run a shell so you have like pretty much like a Debian server on your phone. Now, in the future, they plan to enable running desktop Linux programs from Android devices, super cool, and support for GUI apps is expected in Android 16. So we actually will get that kind of hypothetical not too far from now. Google is testing new external display management tools to bring Android closer to traditional desktop operation, operating systems. The formal terminology for this is called smartphone desktop convergence. So it's the idea of like bridging the smartphone and the desktop to be on one device or just making them, you know, more intermixed. So theoretically this could replace laptops with large Android phones and tablets or hell, even just your Android phone. You know, you could get home and plug it into a docking station and then run Linux software on your phone. So this could, and again, could mark the beginning of a new lightweight hybrid smartphone desktop operating system. And we've actually already seen some cool features on the Android side of things that do this kind of thing on both Samsung and Pixel devices where you can plug in your phone to a monitor and it will actually have like cool monitor specific features and it will hook up to like a keyboard. So we've already seen some things like this. And so this is just continuing that direction. Um, with that said, I'm still a little bit skeptical. There have been a few projects that have tried to do this whole convergence thing and a lot of them don't really go anywhere. But if Google actually commits to something and they actually commit to this and they don't try to just stop it and then retry three years later under a different name and do the typical Google nonsense, then this could actually go somewhere if Google really doubles down on it. And I would love to see this because I love the concept of just having one device that can kind of just you know, morph into something else, uh, depending on if, where it's plugged in or if it's docked somewhere. Um, I love this concept, and it's actually one of the big concepts that you see on these Linux devices, like the Pine Phone and the Librem 5, which is they're just a whole Linux desktop operating system, and they have a mobile version, but you can plug them in and make them essentially a Linux desktop. Really cool concept, love this. Could be the future of computing, don't know yet, um, but I do think that this could be big. You just watched a clip from our main podcast, Surveillance Report, where we talk about privacy and security news every single week to keep you all updated on the newest threats and how to prevent them from happening to you. If you wanna learn more and stay updated, check it out here on the screen or in the description. And there's also an audio only version that you can also find down in the description. We'll see you there, thanks for watching.